YouTube, my name is Chris Lopresti and I am the Chief Pilot at Terrestrial Imaging. We are a unique dealer and we sell a lot of the Typhoon Q500 4K multicopters. After speaking with our customers, we've learned that many of them are not aware that the Q500 4K camera can operate in two different modes, the Seago 3 Default Mode and the Seago 3 Pro Mode. Based on this feedback, we've decided to make a short video to show you the difference between the Seago 3 Default Mode and the Seago 3 Pro Mode, and how to switch between them. If you are an owner or operator of a Typhoon Q500 4K multicopter and you don't know the difference between the Seago 3 Pro Mode and the Seago 3 Default Mode, you'll want to watch the rest of this video. I promise you, you'll be glad you did. When you purchase a unique Typhoon Q500 4K multicopter, hopefully from us, and take the unit out of the box, the Seago 3 camera is in default mode. And in default mode, you have no control over the camera's settings. You simply take a picture by pressing the picture button, capture video by pressing the video capture button, and that's it. You can switch between taking still pictures and recording video while in flight by simply pressing the corresponding buttons on the ST10 Plus controller. You can think of the Seago 3 default mode as auto camera mode. You cannot control the camera's light sensitivity, its shutter speed, white balance, or any other camera setting. You simply point your camera, press the button, take a picture, and you get what you get. There's one surprising and very important thing to know about the Seagull 3 default mode. When you take a still picture, you're actually taking a picture from video. What this means is that if your video resolution is set to 4K, when you take a still picture, you'll get a high resolution still picture. However, if you reduce your video resolution to, say, 1080p, your still picture will be actually recorded at a lower resolution. You might be disappointed in the quality of your still picture if they were recorded at, say, 2 megapixels as opposed to 12 megapixels. So, to recap, in Seagull 3 default mode, there's nothing to think about when you take pictures or record video. Simply press the button, and the camera does all the thinking for you. But keep in mind, when you take a still picture, the quality of that picture is directly tied to your video settings. Also, in Seago 3 default mode, you cannot make lighting adjustments or any other adjustments to the camera. I suspect Unique wanted you to learn how to fly safely before learning how to use the pro features of the camera. In Seago 3 Pro mode, you have better control over the camera. For example, while in flight, you can adjust the white balance, the ISO settings, and exposure values. In addition, while you're in Seago 3 Pro mode, your still pictures are decoupled from your video. This means that while taking pictures in Seago 3 Pro mode, you'll always be taking pictures at the camera's highest resolution, regardless of your video settings. Now, while you're in Seago 3 Pro mode, there is an added step that you must take when switching between taking still pictures and capturing video while in flight. You'll need to manually switch between video and camera mode before you take a picture or start to record video. After experimenting with both Seago 3 Default mode and Seago 3 Pro mode, I really can't think of any reason why you should leave the camera in Seago 3 Default mode, other than while you're learning to fly. Once you're confident that you can fly safely, I highly recommend switching your camera into Seago 3 Pro mode. Here we have the ST10 Plus controller powered on and connected to our Q500 4K. The Q500 4K is off screen right now and its camera is on. As you would expect, out of the box, this Seago 3 camera is configured in the Seago 3 default mode. To take a picture, simply press the picture snapshot button and we capture complete. If I want to start and stop video, I press the video start button, I let it record, I press the stop button. If I want to go back and take a picture, I simply press the picture button 
and I take another picture. That's it. You do that while flying. You have no control over light settings or anything of that sort. And remember, if your camera is set in a high resolution, as we're going to show you here, then your pictures will be in a high resolution. If you change your video settings to a lower resolution, then your pictures will be in a low resolution. So, that's really it for using the Seago 3 in the default mode. Nothing to think about. Fly, fly safely, don't worry about the camera. You can take pictures and video seamlessly back and forth without doing anything. Remember that the quality of the still picture is going to be connected to the settings that you chose for video. Now how about the Seagull 3 mode? Real simple. To notice on the screen here we have certain options, features, and parameters. If I click flight settings, okay, I click camera select and I go to Seagull 3 Pro, I select it, I hit OK, and you'll notice when I go back home to the home screen, you'll notice I have more options on the screen. So for example, I could adjust my white balance. They have some pre-programmed settings for a sunny day or a cloudy day or fluorescent lights or other settings. And so I'm not going to get into each of these features and what they do and what they don't do. You'd have to explore that yourself. But the idea is that we now have more options to control our camera. In addition, as we mentioned earlier, you can take a picture using the same picture button, start and stop video using the same start and stop video button. The difference is right here on the screen. We have, I just turned it off, but we have a picture, a camera button, still picture, and then we have a video button. You must choose what mode you want to be in if you want to take stills or videos. So for example, if I want to take a still picture in the Seago 3 Pro mode, I have to put the camera in picture taking mode, camera mode and not video mode. Now I can take all the pictures I want. As you can see, capture complete, capture complete. And while I'm flying, I could change my light settings and other things, other features. If I want to take a video mode, I can't just simply press that button. I must select video mode and now the camera is put in video mode. So as we said earlier, the camera is now decoupled from the video. So here we go, we press the video button, we start and stop. If I want to go back and take pictures in the air, I stop my video. I have to go back to camera mode. And now, when it's my screen comes back, I can take pictures. And we can do this while we're in flight. Taking pictures. If I don't want to be in Seago 3 Pro mode, I simply hit flight settings. I select my camera. I pick Seagull 3, select it, OK it, go back home, and now I don't have the advanced features. And if I want to take pictures, I just press whichever button I want. I no longer have to pick over here between camera and video. One more time, camera select, Seagull 3 Pro, select, OK, we go back and now I have the advanced features. That's it folks. That's how to unlock the Seago 3 Pro feature when you use the ST10 Plus controller connected to your Q500 4K. Thank you for watching. Please visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com